Online, Brian Laundry has a significant digital footprint. His Instagram profile describes him as a, quote, nature enthusiast. He writes, take a hike every day. Bug bites are better than being brainwashed by the media. Photos to the account show him hiking in national parks, posing with Gabby, and showing off artwork he'd apparently created. He also appears frequently in the couple's YouTube vlog. It all paints a wildly different picture than the current situation. Gabby dead by homicide and Brian nowhere to be found. His parents ignored questions by reporters Thursday after returning home reportedly from Orlando. Why aren't you talking? Why aren't you out looking for your son? Where do you think he is? You think Brian's Why aren't you at the reserve looking for your son? There may also be a side to 23-year-old Brian Laundry many did not know. Uh, we drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. He was slapping her? In a recently released 911 call, we hear a witness claiming to see Brian hitting Gabby during a fight. Later in police body camera video, Gabby is in tears, speaking with officers. Some days I, <laughs> I have really bad OCD, and okay. I just I was just cleaning and straightening up the back of the van before, and I was apologizing to him and saying, I'm sorry that I'm so mean because sometimes I have OCD and sometimes I just get really frustrated. Laundry returned home on September 1st in the van without his fiance. Neighbors across the street from his parents' house tell Fox News roughly a week later, Brian and his parents appeared to be packing up the family camper. I saw them loading it up, and so I assumed they were preparing for, you know, a, a, a camping trip with their they, new camper. They were going for the weekend. Certainly an interesting observation from the neighbors. I can tell you those neighbors, everyone else around here, they are just waiting for some kind of resolution on this case. As you saw in that story, the uh, laundry parents did leave and return today. They also returned that silver Mustang that was parked behind the Northport Police Department. That is back at the family home today. As you heard, uh, reporters tried to ask the parents what they knew. Still no comment from the Landry's. Back to you. And Josh, behind you is that camper that the neighbors uh, mentioned that the family, I guess, went on a mm -hmm. camping trip soon after he came back without Gabby. That is what the neighbors reported to Fox News. They said they saw this roughly a week or a week and a half after he came back. At the time, obviously, they didn't know that he came back alone. They assumed that both of them had come back. And then they said uh, about a week and a half later, they saw them packing up the camper to go somewhere. They don't know where they went or much about it, but they certainly thought it was noteworthy once the rest of the story came out that that Gabby was missing. I'm sure Kelly, investigators are looking into that too as well. All right, yep. Josh Cassio reporting for us. Thank you so much, Josh. Also